Feed Our Vets, the nonprofit organization currently struggling to find a new place to call home, as all residents inside the 205 Genesee Street building need to be out by December 16th for renovations. Another nonprofit has reached out to see if they can help. Our Genesee League reports. With a similar mission to help out the local veterans in our community, the Veterans Outreach Center is offering a helping hand to the nonprofit organization Feed Our Vets. But I offered to have a meeting to say, hey, if you needed help, you know, we could have a meeting and see what we could do for you. Because I couldn't, I can't promise something unless I know what you're asking for. It was only a few years ago the two organizations operated together in the facility where the outreach center is now. Back in 2008, 2009 uh, is when they started. And they operated there till about 2000, end of 2010. Scalise says both organizations have similar goals, but have different ways to achieve them. Is that they were open one day a month, you know, and but they wanted to have control of all the food that came in through the facility. But Scalise says the pantry needs to be open more days a week. Richard Sinek, founder of Feed Our Vets, tells me the Veterans Outreach Center evicted his organization. I I I, I short stop from saying evicted. Um, because there was no formal written agreement, but uh, I did ask them to leave. For months now, Assemblywoman Marianne Buttonshawn says she's been communicating between the two organizations. So I, I reached out to um, Mrs. Scalise and asked him um, if he would be willing to host them and then brought the information back to feed our vets and... Uh, you know, that it felt at that point that that would not be a viable place for them to work out of. I, I, I don't want to see anybody, you know, go without, but I can't just say, sure, whatever you want. I, I'm, I'm not the kind of person that writes blank checks. You know, I, I, I want to make sure I could cash that check before I write it. Reporting Jen Selig, Eyewitness News.